Hello friends, this is my 3D printed joystick for the PlayStation 5 controller. It's made of a bunch of 3D printed parts and it snaps on top of the controller. It has this joystick that controls the thumbstick through these linkages as well as the buttons and the triggers. All mechanical, no electronics involved and it's made of a bunch of quite easy to print 3D printed parts. I'm calling this Akaki Flexure Joystick and for that reason I printed it in Akaki color. <laughs> Akaki color. Like my previous design with the Xbox controller, it uses flexures, which are these flimsy looking parts. And here's another one, the gimbal or the hinge for the stick here at the base is a few other flexures. They work as both the hinge but also as the spring. For the buttons you have linkages that go through the stick and onto the face and the uh, R2-D2 buttons here. The linkages go through a specific point which happens to be the only point that doesn't move when you tilt the stick. You can even feel the variable resistance from the haptic trigger. There's something about that Sagrada that looks very familiar. <laughs> Normally with a thumbstick you are going to be making large motions so the sensitivity is turned down. But with this you can have the sensitivity at exactly zero. Because the smallest of movement is accurately copied over to the thumbstick over there. And you can really fly with just one finger like this very accurately, but when you need to make those large moves, you get to do those as well. But there are a few games that use dual sticks, aren't there? Like Mech Warrior. Elite Dangerous. Calamari Damachi. You can take the same stick, print it mirrored on the other side, and now you have a dual stick controller. Let's try that. The build uses a little bit of super glue in a few spots. The joints with this flexure have to be very solid, otherwise the motions won't be accurate. For the linkages to the buttons and triggers, you just snap all the pieces together like Legos. It's a bit tight, so you need to use an extra tool. Make sure the knots, crosses, triangles and boxes are correct here. They're marked. This piece has a sacrificial support there. Snap that off. All other pieces print totally without supports. Snap it onto this little ledge feature that the DualSense controller has and you're done. I don't play Elite Dangerous, but I do play these. It's my drone, and see, it's got dual sticks. And I think this could also work for drone flying.
yeah works right away Here's a tip for you if you're printing this stick. You can enable something called fuzzy skin which gives the prints this grippy feel to them but it doesn't hamper the function of the stick. Reminds me a little bit of this hidden feature that you might not know about in the dual sense where the grip surface has these microscopic markings. As a design aid for the mount, I used this one scan that I found online by user Dave. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a bit wonky, but I wouldn't let that get me bent out of shape. I was still able to use it as a general aid to design the mount around. That with reference photos from Sony that I placed around the model like this in two dimensions. That and then a ton of iterations. I did about five different prototypes to get the mount to fit just right. So, how do you like my joystick design? I think it's pretty smart. I'll put the files down there. You can get the free version or pay a little bit to get the full one with the buttons and everything. Uh, don't forget, you can get the Xbox one as well. Uh, I know it's buried in there, but that's an Xbox controller. And this exists. I'll see if I can make one for these older controllers as well. Check back for that. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.